Hi folks, today I want to talk about what are dependencies in Java and how to add them in uh, Maven project, Java Maven project. So uh, overall dependencies are any external libraries of files, actually files that you can connect to your project or add to your project. Uh, so you will have access to already implemented functions, methods, some additional functionality and you will not need to implement it from scratch. So dependency is any library, as I said, and uh, what is a library? So library, it's actually some piece of code packed into a separate uh, .jar file, file with .jar extension that contains, uh, that can be used as a library and contains, uh, as I said, different <coughs> already implemented functions and methods that you can use. And uh, it's kind of official way to reuse existing code written by other developers around the world to share your code. So it gives you the ability to not to invent something from scratch, but uh, use best practices that already someone has already implemented in other projects and extract it as a separate library, standalone file. What exactly does it mean to add a, to add a dependency into a project? Uh, on practice, it means to write a couple lines of uh, code into your configuration file. For example, for if you want to run your to run some tests in your project, you will add uh, some. Uh, you will most probably need to add some test runner. It might be test in G, it might be G unit, and those are libraries and those will be your dependencies. The same goes for any other additional functionality that you want to use. Like for example, if you want to write UI tests uh, to interact with the browser, you will need to add uh, some library like Selenium or maybe something else in order to interact with the browser from your code. So we will not have to create all of those uh, things from scratch. So why does dependency mechanism exist at all? Uh, because if by default every Java project would, would include um, all the libraries, all the existing libraries around the world, it would, be, it would have really large size, like uh, hundreds of uh, megabytes or gigabytes and it will be uh, hard to use such large projects, will be hard, hard to keep it in the memory, hard to transfer, and other kind of difficulties. So basically, uh, one of the principles of the software development is that every program should be as small as possible and should use only uh, uh, contain in the source code only those functions that is actually using and do not have any uh, not used code hanging, hanging around and just uh, doing nothing. So that's the idea uh, behind uh, all the dependency mechanisms. So you build your project brick by brick, taking uh, what already implemented by other developers uh, by adding dependencies, adding libraries to your project. So here are more, are more, my more detailed notes. Feel free to pause and read them. <coughs> but yeah, basically dependency equals library and uh, library equals uh, just a standalone file that provides something for you like functions or data. Like for example, if you would want, let's say uh, to use some uh, zip code correspondence to cities and states, most likely you will not going to try to implement, to implement it from scratch. You will <coughs> just connect some library that can provide this information. Uh, so for things like that, uh, a lot of different functionalities a lot are implemented in uh, a lot of different libraries, piece, pieces by pieces. So let's uh, try to <coughs> make sense of some real world examples outside of, of the programming languages of the software development. 
So first example, uh, let's say that you are cooking something non-trivial and you will need a recipe for that. Right, but you have this recipe uh, written down somewhere on the sheet of paper in your drawer somewhere, right, in the kitchen. So in this uh, example, uh, this recipe itself will be uh, the library that you will need to use because you want to get some specific set of sequence of actions, what to put, uh, which ingredients to put, in which order, in which sizes, and so on. So the recipe itself will be a library that you need to use and the process of uh, going around the kitchen, find the needed, the drawer it's in uh, and taking it out, it will be, it might be considered as the process of uh, adding dependency. <coughs> Next example uh, with a house. Uh, for example, you are moving in into a new house or apartment and uh, uh, honestly speaking, it cannot function by its own, on itself. You will need to connect some external service providers like uh, gas, power and water, right? So um, you would, uh, in real life, you would call them and uh, ask to start service on some specific date, uh, at some specific address. And in this example, uh, a house or an apartment is your Java project and uh, when you need to connect some services uh, like gas power or water it means that you need to add dependencies because you depend on some external uh, functionalities providers service providers and in uh, in this example also, if we compare it to uh, Java and Maven, so Maven basically is uh, not a programming language. In essence, it's just a Java project management tool or build automation tool that helps you to organize your folders uh, in your file system in some specific order to compile the code, to build the code and do other additional stuff. So that's what uh, Maven in used for, is used for. So in our example, uh, instead of calling uh, by phone to service providers, you will be uh, adding some uh, additional lines of code in the Maven configuration file. So Maven will be your service provider and those Additionally, added dependencies will be uh, the services itself, like gas, power, and water, if it makes sense. So how exactly to add dependencies in uh, Maven? Each Maven, uh, let me open an ID. So each Maven project, oh yeah, and uh, by the way, Maven is just one of the possible uh, project management tools or project organizer tools for Java. There are others like Gradle uh, and more, but uh, all of these uh, meanings and entities and uh, all of my explanations relate can be related to any uh, build tool and to any programming language because it's far as I know, uh, most of the programming languages has some kind of dependencies and uh, the meaning is always the same. It's just an, an external functionalities uh, written by someone else that you want to use in your project. So let's go back to Maven. So each Maven project uh, have pom.xml file. So basically it's configuration for Maven. <coughs> Uh, where we can say uh, what dependencies or what external libraries we want to add to our projects we want to use. Uh, in my case, you can see I'm using uh, TestNG as a test runner, uh, Selenium for browser interaction and a bunch of other dependencies libraries for different goals. So how exactly to add dependency to find and add dependency uh, from scratch kind of from scratch so uh, let's say for example you know that you would want to use uh, 
Selenium. Oops, sorry. So you would just go and Google something like Maven, Selenium, Java. And usually the first link will be the one that you need. Uh, so here you see it says Maven repository, you open it. Here is a Maven repository page for this specific library, Selenium Java. And here is a list of uh, all previously uh, available versions and currently available versions. So usually the latest one, the most uh, updated one <coughs> is on the top, this one. Let me show you to an example. I already added this one uh, for the visibility. I will use uh, some of the previous ones. So you click on a specific version, but uh, most likely you will have to go and uh, select just uh, the, the latest one on the top. And here in text area, you will have uh, some text written in XML markup xml language run markup so you will just go ahead and uh, copy it and go and paste into your project uh, but inside you should do it inside dependencies tag because you see here is dependency one dependency two dependency three it's uh, strictly structured language or configuration so you would put it, uh, you can put it on the top like here, or you can put it at the end of all dependencies. But just keep in mind and uh, be careful not to add at the end of the file, it will be wrong place. It always should go inside uh, dependencies tag. You can add it here. The order of adding libraries doesn't really matter. So just a second, let me find my Selenium dependency. So I already have uh, this one. I'm not going to <coughs> add the latest one. Don't want to break anything, but basically you will copy paste it in here and uh, no, let's do it just a second for the sake of visibility. So you add it, uh, you save the file, then uh, you click on uh, load Maven changes. So and here on the bottom, you can see Maven uh, is saying resolving Maven dependencies. So what's going on right now, actually Maven goes to its remote servers and downloads <coughs> uh, this jar file to your local uh, laptop machine or file system. And after he did it, uh, this file is available for you to use and uh, that's why it changed uh, the coloring version changed uh, from red when dependency was unresolved to some neutral color like uh, light blue or something. But uh, again, uh, in order to apply new changes, you would need to go and click Maven and uh, this reload all Maven project button if you will not have uh, this floating button. So that's how you add dependencies. Uh, now let me revert this. Save, reload one more time. So I want to show you what happens if we will uh, remove some dependency. So let's say uh, I already have some uh, working tests. Let's say that they work. And those are using uh, TestNG as a test runner and Selenium for browser interaction. So you see, test works. It's running. Just let's give it a few seconds to, to be completed. You see, it's green, so everything works fine. Uh, all the Functions from Selenium, methods from Selenium are available in our code. Nothing red, you see here, no errors here, nothing, no red lines. Uh, now let's remove Selenium dependency. Save and reload. 
and see what happens then. So it looks like it doesn't show any progress bars here, so it looks like it's finishing reloading or reading changes. Uh, let's try to run it one more time. You see now we have a bunch of errors, a bunch of red lines. Uh, so basically it's saying that uh, it cannot find the library, some classes and so on. So that's why uh, you add those dependencies in order to connect some libraries to add those slice and pom file in order to add this functionality to your project to be able to use it. Let's change it back, revert it, save, reload. Now let's run again. Now it all works again. So yeah, one more time. Dependencies are just some external functionalities that you want to use in your project. Uh, dependencies are <clears throat> basically the same as libraries because you, in uh, most cases, you will add dependency for libraries. And the uh, library is uh, a, just a file, standalone file that uh, can provide you with some additional functionality so you don't have to implement it from scratch. That's it for this video. Um, see you in the next one.